Approximately a third of testicular cancers are non-seminomatous germ cell tumours. These usually occur at the age group of 20 to 30. This is rather younger than the age at which seminomas occur. Vascular invasion is associated with a worse prognosis and sometimes seminomas can occur in combination with non-seminomatous germ cell tumours. These may be referred to as either combined or mixed germ cell tumours. Non-seminomatous germ cell tumours comprise a spectrum of germ cell tumours that range from the highly malignant undifferentiated embryonal carcinoma through to mature teratoma. In addition to embryonal carcinoma and teratoma, yolk sac tumour and choriocarcinoma may also be present. One thing that is worth clarifying is that Embryonal carcinoma is the WHO term that has now superseded the old British term of undifferentiated teratoma or MTU, or that is malignant teratoma undifferentiated. In contrast to the classical seminoma that typically occurs as a pure tumour, non-seminomatous germ cell tumours usually as occur as a variety of tumour types. So, for example, you may see teratoma differentiated together with embryonal carcinoma and a little bit of yolk sac tumour. This is the cut surface of a teratoma of the testis. It differs from a seminoma in that it has a rather cystic appearance. And this is a cyst lined by mature keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium. You can see the flakes of keratin in the right hand side of the picture. In contrast to differentiated teratoma where you can clearly make out the types of tissue being formed, this is an example of embryonal carcinoma or malignant teratoma undifferentiated. This is composed of primitive malignant very atypical cells. Yolk sac tumours can occur in their pure form in children but in adults it occurs as part of a teratoma. Yolk sac tumours produce alpha fetoprotein. Alpha fetoprotein is detected in the blood and it is frequently raised in patients with non seminomatous germ cell tumours as well as pure yolk sac tumours. AFP is not only a useful blood test to help with the diagnosis of testicular tumours, it is also a very useful test for follow up of these patients. This is an example of a yolk sac tumour. And just out of interest, this particular pattern of yolk sac tumour contains structures that resemble glomeruli called glomeruloid bodies. So to conclude, germ cell tumours may occur in any combination. If non-seminomatous germ cell tumour is combined with seminoma, it is the non-seminomatous component that is prognostically significant and that dictates how the patient is treated. Follow-up is with serum alpha feta protein, beta HCG and LDH. Around 90% of patients with embryonal carcinoma will have raised levels of AFP and HCG. LDH or lactate dehydrogenase isn't a specific tumour marker, but it is a good indicator of tumour bulk and useful in helping to assess the prognosis of a particular testicular tumour.